guys it's marisa welcome back to my channel how is everyone doing today and i just want to say thank you so much for all my new subscribers i got a, quite a few uh in a day so thank you so so much i know a lot of people are home and they don't have a lot to do so but regardless i just want to say thank you so much for subscribing and watching and supporting me so today, it just feels like forever since I've recorded, but it literally has been a day, which is weird. Um, but anyway, this my schedule is all off with uh, my family being home. And basically, um, you know, I'm trying to keep a pretty good schedule. But, you know, I am pretty much recording at night when there's less activity in my house. And then, like, kind of editing during the day or at night as well, and then uploading the next day. So, if I if my schedule isn't as often, you know, it is what it is, due to what is going in the world right now. But I do hope everyone is okay, and please reach out to me, sound off below, let me know how everyone is doing, and what you guys are doing out there to kind of. You know keep busy being in the house so much anyway <laughs> I know it's a long intro but today I actually wanted to try something a little different I actually really really miss now I'm taking a break for a day or two uh, with my Jacksepticeye um, series I would probably have a couple more videos that I want to do which with the resin um, but I just want to feel like taking a break. If you didn't know, I'm all about my feelings and what I'm in the mood to do. And that's what I just go with. And it's been working for me. So here's how this beauty dried. And you see this over here. I finished the back. And I'm not done cutting it with this really pretty paper. Whoops, I gotta stick that down a little bit better. I'll put a little more glue. Um, with those beautiful paper pads so I'm not done cutting it yet I had to use my trusty knife I couldn't find my exacto knife but I just been cutting around it's been a big pain in the butt to do but it actually looks really nice and I used my uh, e6000 because it's a uh, wooden paper I just figured use a little bit of a stronger glue and not just um, the regular stick glue and yeah, I just have to finish this little part here, and then that part is done. So, I really miss using my brushes. Um, you know, I've been paint pouring pretty consistently, and then of course doing other things like the resin art and stuff like that I've been getting into. But I wanted to try an experiment. Now it's all acrylic paint, and I'm sure it's gonna work just fine. What I want to do is paint like a background with um, my Artist Love paints. I don't know if I'm using all the colors, but I pr probably will. We got some light magenta, we got deep magenta, some aqua green, I have a little bit of the titanium white left, and we have some light violet. And I just want to paint with brushes the background, some, some really nice, just about nice background. And then on top, use some of my primal flow so we got some ink and gold this is the royal violet and this is the cobalt turquoise and I'm gonna do a reverse dip on top of that now the reverse dip is something very similar to this design here where I just pour some paint and then I put a dampened uh, paper towel on and then lift it I've done quite a few of them on on this channel already I just want to see, I don't know what, what's going to come out, what's going to happen, if it's going to look horrible, it's going to look great, who knows. But I just want to kind of combine the two techniques of painting, um, so I really miss using my brushes. I just want to paint a really pretty background and then look, create some cool textures with the paint pouring. And I just want to see what happens, you know. Um, when you're in the house so much, actually, my life hasn't changed that much since this whole thing. Um, I'm in the house a lot anyway, and a lot of times I don't go out unless I have to do errands, which is kind of like what they want us to do now anyway. Just go out when you're really, really ne necessary. That's kind of what I do anyway. 
So my life hasn't changed that much, much except for my family's home. That's what's changed. So anyway, so I just was curious. I thought about this last night. And I just wanted to combine the two techniques together and just see what happens. Um, but again, this the background, I'm going to add this. Um, the pouring paint while this is still wet. Um, I'm not going to wait till it dries and then see. I just want to see how they interact with one another and what happens. You know, what's going to happen? Who knows? Uh, it may come out horrible, may be awesome. I don't know. But again, it's both acrylic paint, so it can't be all that bad. But I just want to kind of use all my colors, all different paints, and let's see what happens. All right? So I will be back in a minute and let's get started.
Hey guys, I am back. So, I really, this really felt good to me. Um, yeah, at first, after I did this one, as you can see, I forgot to wear my gloves, but it's all good. Um, I have to conserve gloves these days, you know what I mean? Um, but anyway, after I did this one and when I dipped in again with the uh, paper towel, I really didn't like that because it didn't have like enough uh, paint on it. But I really like to mix these uh, techniques together and I really like the way the paper towel picked up paint off and that's why I did it wet. Um, I actually wanted that to happen. I wanted to see what would happen uh, with the paper towel. I wanted some texture here and I really like the way this came out. This is really, really cool. Um, I'm really happy with it and it just felt good. It felt good to just experiment a little bit, um, use some new techniques that I have learned um, very recently and just, you know, paint with my brush. I haven't used this guy in a minute and I have to go wash this right now before it gets hard, but it was really nice, you know, and it's all the same. I mean, these do have medium in it, so this texture is definitely different. This paint is absolutely different from this one. It is all acrylic, obviously, but this is more hard body. This is definitely softer, definitely more fluid. And I just really love the way this came out, and I love the color combination. So yeah, guys, I just wanted to do a little experiment today. I may continue to do a couple more of these, um, maybe with diff different techniques. I don't know. You know, maybe a ring pour. You know, I don't know. We'll, we'll see, because I don't want to lose the background too much. So I think this was the reverse dip, I think, was a cool uh, technique to use in this case. So I'm really happy with it. I really love the colors and yeah, it was a lot of fun and it felt good to me to kind of use both techniques and I'm, I don't know. I hope, I, let me know what you think in the, in the comments below. If you like this, if you hate it, it's all good. I feel good about it. So, and it just was on my mind to do this, just to try it at least once and see what happens. Alright guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed. If you like this painting, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so you never miss one of my videos. Um, if you want to follow me on social media, all my links are below as well as all the materials I used. And guys, I will see you in the next one. Take care, be safe, and be healthy. Okay guys, bye.